Without a sound or trace, Bai Kaluo's black robe flowed like water swiftly and vanished within his body, revealing his intrepid and malevolent body, he, with a green alloy armor, with scales as its construct, layers and layers of scales added together, and his face too was covered in green scales, without a single strand of hair on his head, only green skin. His forehead had a peculiar arc, sharp and almost like a blade. His entire body from head to toe was all green. On his back he carried two battle knives crossed. His lightning-fast draw created a dreamy afterimage. At the same time, with the knives in his hand, he parried that silver sword attack, immediately slowing it down. Within the universe ship control room, through the external image simulator, Luo Feng could clearly see the exchange between the two. When Biker Luo revealed his true face, Luo Feng was shocked. Sword Clan. From the screen of the control board, the demon Babata was shocked. Sword Clan, Luo Feng said with shock. Right, Sword Clan, this person. His features seem to match that of the Sword Clan. Sword Clan, a very renowned and famed race. Initially, the Sword Clan planet was an aboriginal planet. However, even though they were an aboriginal planet, when they were discovered by a universe empire, they already had a domain lord and 12 universe levels. Dot the Sword Clan people, as long as they reach maturity, they'll become star travelers. This was a very strong planet. However, as they hadn't developed their technology, they didn't have universe ships and hence the Sword Clan people had always remained on their planet. And after entering the universe, they slowly grew. Even before they entered the universe, they had explorer experience and traditions. Every mature member had to explore and risk their lives on the planet. And after entering the universe, every matured clan member would explore the universe and go through life or death missions. The sword clan people don't seem to bother much about power or luxury, they seem to only chase the path of getting stronger. Some would become disciples of absolute warriors, or go to other powers to learn techniques. This made many absolute warriors within the sword clan. In the history of the sword clan, undying beings, sector lords, they were all there. Hence the Sword Clan was a race very renowned within the human races of the universe. Babata explained in detail. Oh, Luo Feng was somewhat shocked. Star Traveler at maturity, in the human races, that wasn't too strong a race. However the Sword Clan, the reason why they had such a reputation was their personality. Babata said, because of their unwavering determination, working hard to constantly grow stronger. This personality and trait is within their bones. Hence they've produced so many powerful warriors. While Luo Feng was shocked at the Sword Clan, simultaneously in space, the universe level 9 Dai Fan was engaged in a mad battle with Bai Kaluo. Dai Fan stood in space controlling his spirit weapon. A green violent wind surrounded Bai Kaluo's surroundings, causing his body to appear blurry. His two battle knives had already reached their limit speed, mixed in with the ferocious wind domain, forming a continuous blade storm. Clang clang clang. That arc blade clashed with the snow white blade over and over, causing Dai Fan's face to reveal shock. The sword clan man was obviously only a universe level 8, however relying on these two knives he's managed to block all his spirit weapon attacks. 100 knives. Bai Kaluo shouted malevolently. A large amount of snow white blades overlapped each other, forming a blade storm that filled the surroundings, quickly engulfing Dai Fan. With a peng sound, the huge wave of blades came crashing down on him. Dai Fan's face was pale. Hmm, Bai Kaluo revealed shock, Dai Fan had managed to block his final attack. This bastard, Dai Fan squinted his eyes, shouting, Soul Blade Cutter. A formless spirit attack immediately formed a blade that was invisible to the naked eye, swiftly piercing through Bai Kaluo's consciousness. Bai Kaluo's eyes seemed to dim a little before recovering, staring hard at Dai Fan. He actually blocked it. Dai Fan was extremely shocked. Within the universe ship, Luo Feng too couldn't help but exclaim. He actually blocked it. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. This Bai Kaluo was a true genius. A universe level 8, able to rely on two blades to forcefully block a universe level 9 spirit weapon. This in itself was incredible. However, at that, Luo Feng was only complimenting, not too shocked. This was because Dai Fan's true skill wasn't in his control of a spirit weapon, he was best at his soul attacks. Along with the training of the soul cutter technique, even though he had only barely grasped it, its power was shocking. A universe level 9 spirit reader, unleashing the soul cutter, and it was actually blocked by a universe level 8. Shocking willpower. On the screen, the demon shouted excitedly, his willpower is too shocking, this Bai Kaluo is a universe level 8 fighter, 
and also a universe level 8 spirit reader. However that Dai Fan's soul cutter's power is huge, even same level opponents would find it hard to block, but he actually managed it. Willpower, he has incredible and shocking willpower. The demon said, Luo Feng, quickly, use the slave soul imprint and keep him. He will definitely be a slave even more exceptional than Dai Fan. Keep him, Luo Feng was shocked. Every single slave had to be considered greatly before. I can guarantee that he definitely has the standard of the battle axe fighter, even compared to his teacher, if they were the same level, his teacher Nuolin Shan may not even be his match. The demon Babata howled, his domain is strong, his knife skills are powerful, these don't mean much. But his shocking willpower, it shows his resolve is very strong, he definitely has the potential and makings of an absolute warrior, as long as you nurture him well. Luo Feng, these opportunities are rare. A battle axe fighter standard, stepping into the domain lord, they even have up to a 50% chance. What's more, with his shocking willpower, along with the techniques of the Yunmo planet, stepping into the domain lord level, there's an even higher chance. Babata shouted, and, you lack a fighter slave. Luo Feng nodded. Dai Fan was proficient in soul attacks. His underlings, he indeed lacked a fighter slave. In space. Your spirit attacks are very strong. Baikaluo's eyes were cold. He gritted his teeth and shouted, however, the final victor will be me. Moving within the ferocious winds, Baikaluo's body floated and became an arc line, the green mad winds about him covered the two swords that were madly cutting towards Dai Fan. The blades carried in him genetic energy, strength, willpower, and they all reached a perfect level of harmony. Blade. Cycle. There was madness within Baikaluo's eyes, the two blades became two snow-white lights, madly cutting towards Dai Fan. They seemed untiring and continuous, very quickly forming a huge light cycle, pressuring down on Dai Fan. Chi. The spirit weapon was knocked away and Dai Fan spit out blood, a flash of pity appeared in his eyes and he unleashed his final technique his master Luo Feng had prepared for him. A dark blue light swiftly knocked and broke the light circle, causing the large amount of light that the blades had formed to crumble, this too had caused the dark blue light to bounce back, this shard that seemed broken and small. Dot the hybrid copper essence shard. This immensely sharp shard formed an arc and headed towards Bai Kaluo. Spare his life. An order resounded within Dai Fan's consciousness. The soul imprint that penetrated the soul, that was Luo Feng's connection with Dai Fan, to be able to communicate directly through their consciousness, just like an AI communicating humans, or like the cloud contact vine with Luo Feng's consciousness. The dark blue light formed an arc and immediately slashed both of Baikaluo's arms, they split open and his blades fell. There was silence in space, the ship remains were scattered and floating in the distance, the universe level De Wen's body was still floating in the distant space, and Baikaluo was standing still in space. Destroy his AI, Luo Feng ordered. The dark blue light cut past Baikaluo's arm, immediately destroying the AI, and Baikaluo stared at the distant Dai Fan, communicating solemnly, why are you not killing me? It's an order from my master. Dai Fan looked at him. Master, Bai Kaluo creased his eyebrows. The cabin door of the distant disc-shaped universe ship opened and a human silhouette flew out. It was the cloud contact vine clad Luo Feng. Luo Feng. Bai Kaluo squinted his eyes. Bai Kaluo, you've lost. Luo Feng looked at Bai Kaluo before him. Even though his wrist flesh had been sliced open, it was regenerating, he however stared hard at Luo Feng, obviously it was clear to him. Dot his loss this time was an utter defeat. I didn't expect you to have a universe level 9 slave, my teacher didn't expect it to. You even have a D-grade long distance light weapon, I've lost completely. Bai Kaluo laughed coldly, Luo Feng, just kill me if you want to. With your slave here, I have no resistance at all. In this space, I have nowhere to escape to also. The vast space, without a ship, where could he escape to? I think highly of you. Luo Feng looked at Bai Kaluo, I'll give you two options right now, one is to serve me, the other is to die. Serve or die, you can choose. Luo Feng looked at him. Serve you, ha ha. Bai Kaluo laughed loudly, Luo Feng are you joking, just you, a star level punk, actually want me to serve you, if it were that baldy asking me to serve him, I might still consider, he is truly strong. That last technique easily defeated me. But you, a star level punk, wanting me to serve you. Bai Kaluo shook his head. Think carefully before you answer. Luo Feng's voice was ice cold. The moment you reject, that means death. 
Once you die, everything will be void. Your warrior dreams, whatever you are chasing, nothing. This is the last time I'm asking. Luo Feng said coldly. Death, or submission. Luo Feng stared at Bai Kaluo. Within the vast space, three human silhouettes stood in space. Luo Feng, you really want to kill him? Babita's voice resounded, he definitely has the potential and makings of an absolute warrior. I admire his backbone, but I'm not about to grovel and beg him to submit. Since he came to kill me. Originally, I should kill him. Luo Feng's expression was cold, I admire him, giving him the chance to submit but if he refuses, I'll just kill him. Makings of an absolute warrior, don't even say the makings of, even absolute warriors now, like sector lords or undying. There are many in the vast universe. Luo Feng looked at Bai Kaluo, waiting for his reply. Bai Kaluo stood in space, his eyebrows creased. The moment you reject, that means death. Once you die, everything will be void. What you are chasing, your dreams, everything will be gone. Luo Feng's words reverberated within his mind, causing him to unconsciously reminisce his struggles from back then. That beautiful planet, his home. That wide and flowing river, he'd seen it countless times in his dreams. Grandpa, I'm leaving. When I return, it'll be the day my name goes up in the temple. I'll definitely make our Iron Stone Mountain Clan proud of me. That dark night, the young Bai Kaluo bid goodbye to his grandfather, beginning his long journey. Leaving his home and entering the universe. Wave after wave of adventures in the galaxy, his strength grew continuously. After witnessing Nuolan Shan in the battle footage from the Battle Axe Coliseum, he idolized Nuolan Shan. Nuolan Shan was a definite pro-war faction. From the moment he became a disciple he had to endure life or death battles, and Bai Kaluo fought extremely hard and quickly became the most exceptional amongst the others. Breaking through to the universe level. Having his own domain. Creating his own knife techniques, a path of continuous growth, even to the point where his old teacher Nuolan Shan couldn't teach him. His battle experience, skills etc., were comparable to that of his teacher. Becoming one in the Nuolan Shan family with a status similar to that of Nuolan Shan himself. However he never relaxed, always covered in the black robe, focusing his entire self on his techniques, his domain. The temple, the sword clan's temple, Bai Kaluo roared within, I, Bai Kaluo, must have my name in that temple. I must make the Iron Stone Mountain Clan proud of me. I will become a legend amongst the Iron Stone Mountain Clan of the Sword Clan. The Sword Clan's temple. All of the Sword Clan's males, this was their most dreamt of achievement, engraving their name in that temple was their biggest pride. But to actually get one's name engraved up there was really difficult. Since the numbers of warriors grew, the conditions required to get one's name engraved became harder and harder. During its aboriginal period, one only had to reach the universe level to get up. After the sword clan entered the universe, it got risen to domain lord level. And a few hundred million years ago, it once again rose to sector lord level. Even in the sword clan, it still took a long time before a name would get engraved, it was their greatest honor. Getting one's name engraved meant becoming one of the sword clan's legends. Engraving my name and becoming a legend. Bai Kaluo raised his head and stared at the dark red armor-clad youth. Have you considered properly? Luo Feng stared coldly at Bai Kaluo, submit or death. Bai Kaluo knelt down on one knee in mid-space, lowering his head, sword clan Bai Kaluo pays his respects to the Lord. Lord, Luo Feng creased his eyebrows. When the Lord's power exceeds mine, I will willingly greet him as master. Bai Kaluo said respectfully, and right now, I'm willing to be one of Lord, soldiers, a bodyguard. Soldier? Bodyguard, Luo Feng looked peculiarly at Bai Kaluo, you can call me master right now. Bai Kaluo creased his eyebrows. Ha ha, Luo Feng laughed loudly in the universe. Rumble, Luo Feng vanished, at the same time with movement, an enormous mountain-like beast appeared in space, its scales alone were bigger than ordinary tables, their edges sharp like knives, its entire length exceeded a shocking 6 kilometers, 4 claws 2 to 3 kilometers long, almost like the legendary pillars supporting heaven. That long tail waved about in space. Its huge head, was almost like a mountain, its dark gold eyes looking down on the little speck by Kaluo. Gold, golden, by Kaluo stared wide-eyed, golden-horned beast. Right, it's me. A powerful sound, imbued with large amounts of genetic energy pierced through the space, ripples of power dispersing throughout, reverberating in by Kaluo's ear. Rumble, 
the golden-horned beast vanished and Luo Feng appeared, seemingly laughing at Biker Luo. Rumble, Luo Feng vanished and the enormous golden-horned beast once again appeared in space. Do you understand? The golden-horned beast's voice was like thunder, his gaze sharp and staring straight at Biker Luo. It was physically impossible to speak in space, however with its large amount of genetic energy medium, along with the massive amount of genetic energy from the golden-horned beast itself, its voice reverberated throughout space. You, you are. Bai Kaluo was extremely shocked, so all this while Luo Feng is the golden-horned beast. Accurately speaking, the golden-horned beast is Luo Feng. The golden-horned beast vanished and Luo Feng stood in space staring at Bai Kaluo, before when he ordered Dai Fan to destroy Bai Kaluo's quantum computer, it was all for his revelation. Dot the secret of the golden horned beast had to be kept, hence he couldn't get careless. As for revealing its body, it was for the sake of unleashing the slave soul imprint. Since it's like that, this. Bai Kaluo was extremely shaken, looking at Luo Feng, you will be stronger than me, I admit, however the golden horned beast now should still be weaker than I currently. Weaker than you, Luo Feng laughed. By Kaluo, even I am no match for master. You, you'll only become a sandbag. Dai Fan laughed mockingly via genetic energy on the side. What? Bai Kaluo shook his head, that's impossible. You can try it and you'll know. Luo Feng curled his lips and smiled. Luo Feng vanished and the golden horned beast once again appeared in space. The golden horned beast had currently already reached the universe level 6. Around December of two years ago, the golden horned beast had broken through to the universe level. As of now, the end of October, it had already been a total of 20 months. Within these 20 months, because he had a large amount of wealth, he could afford the expensive and valuable metals, allowing the internal world to grow with maximum efficiency. However, even the optimum efficiency and metal groupings at the universe level could only raise the rate to 56 times. 56 times. 20 months, normal evolution would take 93 over years. The golden horned beast during the star level period. Stage 1 to 3 required a year and a half. Stages 4 to 6, every stage required 2 years each, a total of 6 years. Stage 7 to 9, every stage required 12 years, a total of 36 years. And stage 9 to the universe level required over 50 years. The entire star level period required close to 100 years. And the universe level period required close to 1000 years. Stages 1 to 3 required about 15 years. Stages 4 to 6, every stage required 20 years, a total of 60 years. Stages 7 to 9, each one required 120 years, a total of 360 years. And finally Universe Stage 9 to the Domain Lord stage, required over 500 years. This was the evolution speed. And with Luo Feng's optimum groupings, normal evolution would take 93 years, the Golden Horned Beast was currently already at the end of the Universe Level 6. As the genius and extremely talented Golden Horned Beast, at the Star Level 7, it already had the ability to kill Star Level 9 fighters already. In space, like an enormous black mountain, the Golden Horned Beast fiercely waved its claws and the tip of every claw was like a huge battle knife swinging at Baikaluo. Roar, Baikaluo roared, green wind dancing about his surroundings, flowing with his gathering of genetic energy, the two battle knives became a blade storm wave that was 10 meters high, directly clashing with the golden horned beast's claw. The clash ripples exploded, the immense force of the waves became shockingly powerful ripples that dispersed in all directions, knocking and shaking the distant corpse of De Wen and sending a large amount of the ship debris into a mess. You, are not bad. The golden horned beast's voice rumbled, almost like a god. The golden horned beast's three horns emitted a glaring light, following which the gold light swiftly flowed through the peculiar golden engravings throughout the golden horned beast's body its scaled wings, its claws, its horns, even its tail seemed to all undergo changes, even the scales seemed to condense together, its claws getting even sharper. One of the three natural talents, strengthen. The golden horned beast's power raised immensely in an instant. Rumble, rumble, rumble. All that could be seen was the claws that were almost like the heavenly pillars stomping and scratching downwards, under its strengthening, that incomparably powerful force caused Baikaluo to be unable to defend at all. The golden horned beast let out an excited howl. Weng weng weng. The golden horned beast began to emit strange ripples. The peculiar thing was its entire body was swiftly shrinking. Every scale of it was shrinking, and at the same time, the structure of the scales themselves seemed to change. 
Its bones too were shrinking. What was once a six kilometers long beast had shrunk to just two to three kilometers long. Its density had increased greatly. Its vertebrate bone had undergone a peculiar change. Its three horns on its head too had shrunk. Its density even greater than before. Yes, the entire golden horned beast, from a body length of over six kilometers had shrunk directly down to only three kilometers. Deity of the world, the first stage. After the first stage had been completely mastered, the body length would be shrunk down to one-third the size, increasing its power by three times. And right now, with all the huge amounts of wealth buying the precious materials to train it, Luo Feng had managed to achieve a shrinking of two times, increasing its power by two times. Strengthening increased its power two times. Deity of the world increased it another two times. Rumble, its claws slashed, causing Bai Kaluo to spit out blood immediately. A quick as lightning tail brushed past, so fast Bai Kaluo didn't even have time to dodge, getting knocked so hard his blades were thrown out of his hands and his arms split open immediately, fresh blood splattering all over. Luckily the golden horned beast had held back, without attacking with its full force, otherwise it would have easily killed Bai Kaluo. The golden horned beast vanished and Luo Feng appeared in space. Dai Fan, Luo Feng looked at him floating in space, the heavily injured and unable to resist Bai Kaluo, go, send him into the nutrition cabin to recover. Yes, Dai Fan's simple and honest face revealed a peculiar smile. He had been his master's sparring partner and bullied many times. Now, he finally had a partner to suffer with him. Strengthening talent, deity of the world, unleashing both together. Dai Fan and Bai Kaluo couldn't defend against it at all. Luo Feng shook his head and smiled, and I haven't even unleashed a bit of the origin laws of gold with my attack. Sleeping and eating and vice versa, he naturally grew and became one with the golden horned beast, worthy of the name invincible among the same level. Even in the vast universe, it was hard to find a close enough opponent in the same level, should there be any human that could put up a fight, he would definitely be elite amongst the entire universe, the entire human race, from countless universe countries, an absolute genius. And Luo Feng this golden horned beast, spending lots of wealth to train deity of the world, and to comprehend the origin laws of the universe. Just hard work alone wasn't enough. To be able to defeat the golden horned beast, it was extremely difficult. Within the universe ship, Master, Bai Kaluo who was tossed into the nutrition cabin shouted willingly. All right, hurry and heal up. Luo Feng said casually, once he was healed, he still had to use the slave soul imprint. De Wen and Bai Kaluo, why haven't they reported back after so long? Within the virtual universe, Black Dragon Mountain Island, within a luxurious villa's guest room, dressed in a long robe, Nuolan Shan creased his eyebrows, blinking his red eyes and stared at the screen, serious and severe as he said, contact them one more time for me. Yes, master, the fist-size AI helper on Nuolan Shan's shoulder shouted out loudly and clearly. Not right, something's up, I'm trying to contact them, they wouldn't dare not answer my call invite. Nuolan Shan's eyes were filled with shock and fear, unless. That's impossible, with Bai Kaluo's strength, the two of them shouldn't have met with any trouble at all. Nuolan Shan shook his head, definitely not. Waiting in the virtual universe, for any news at all from De Wen or Bai Kaluo, Nuolan Shan began to suspect that something must have happened. However he had too much confidence in his most exceptional disciple Bai Kaluo, against Earth, this level of simplicity, he shouldn't have met any trouble at all. Minutes and seconds passed. Five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour. One hour, two hours. Nuolan Shan's expression grew uglier by the minute, he initially still held on to hope, however after two hours had passed and he hadn't received any news from his disciples. It was clear that something had happened. Ah, Nuolan Shan growled from deep within his throat, violently waving his hand, knocking the wine glass on the table in front of him away, the pots and cups flying in all directions, either smashing against the walls or on the art around, even on the chairs, basically breaking apart loudly all over. Luo Feng, Nuolan Shan's eyes grew cold, he bit down hard, squeezing out two words from within. You are vicious. To actually be able to get a universe level 9 or even a domain lord to help you. Nuolan Shan's gaze was cold, clenching his fists so tight, his fingers were jabbing at his palm. This loss was tragic. 1. He lost two important members of his family De Wen and Bai Kaluo. 2. He was clear that if the opponent could easily deal with Bai Kaluo, then he, Nuolan Shan would have no hope of acquiring the treasures of Earth anymore. 
To be able to deal with Bai Kaluo, the opponent must at least be a universe level 9. And a universe level 9, Dot can totally be able to take away that automaton ship. Newell and Shan pondered in rage, even if I spend three years of time and reach Earth. It most probably will be just a waste of time. And what's more on Earth, there's that thing. Solar system, Mars. When Newell and Shan was thinking of Bai Kaluo being killed off, gritting his teeth in rage. Do not resist. A booming rumbling voice reverberated across the sand, the golden horned beast's enormous body was lying there, its head high and huge like a mountain, gazed down at the little Bai Kaluo. Yes. Bai Kaluo stood respectfully there. The golden horned beast began to unleash the Yun Mo planet's slave soul imprint. Gradually, a transparent liquid, almost like a droplet flew out from the left eye of the beast, swiftly descending downwards, this crystal-like droplet, if one examined it carefully, would discover that there were complex prints within it, floating within the center of the drop. Chi, the droplet entered Bai Kaluo's forehead. It immediately seeped in and entered deep within Bai Kaluo's consciousness. Within his consciousness, this was a vast miniature galaxy, it was the place where Bai Kaluo's soul resided. This mini galaxy was continuously revolving, and the eight arms of the galaxy similarly spiraled outwards. A drop of water suddenly appeared and immediately entered into the galaxy, a silver sparkling and translucent beam of light swiftly entered and permeated in, everything happened naturally. After about half an hour, standing in the desert, Baikaluo opened his eyes and looked at the golden horned beast, his gaze filled with a sense of idolization and worship from within his soul. Master, Baikaluo bowed. The golden horned beast's eyes too had a slight darkening in its eyes, using the slave soul imprint was akin to cutting off a small piece of its own soul, the damage was huge. The golden horned beast vanished and Luo Feng appeared. The slave soul imprint is indeed mysterious. Luo Feng looked at the sword clan by Kaluo before him, clearly feeling his sense of worship from deep within his soul, almost as though he was looking at his king, for the teacher to be able to create this slave soul imprint, is really impressive. Dai Fan, Bai Kaluo, let's go, return to earth. Luo Feng said, yes master, Dai Fan and Bai Kaluo replied respectfully simultaneously. The black disc-shaped universe ship was heading back to earth from Mars. Within the ship's control room, Luo Feng and his two slaves were conversing. Master, all the AI and quantum computers from the debris have been brought over. Bai Kaluo said respectfully, there definitely won't be any leakage of the scene of the golden horned beast revealing its body. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Caution and prudence was the utmost importance. The secret of the golden horned beast indeed couldn't be leaked out. Bai Kaluo, just what trump card does that Nuolan Shan have, and what does he know about Earth? Luo Feng asked. Trump card? Bai Kaluo shook his head. That Nuolan Shan doesn't have any trump card at all. The entire foundation of the family is shallow, except for Nuolan Shan himself as the pillar, the family doesn't have any big powers at all. This time he sent De Wen and I over, one was to grab the automaton ship and two was to kill you. That bastard, actually thinking of killing master, he deserves death. Bai Kaluo's words were filled with killing intent for Nuolan Shan. The slave soul imprint had altered his consciousness and his worship for his master was from within his soul, his master's life was the most important thing to him. Hence for Nuolan Shan to try and kill Luo Feng. The current Bai Kaluo was filled with intense hatred from within. Ha ha. That Nuolan Shan is only a little clown. Luo Feng laughed. Right. You talked about the automaton ship earlier. Luo Feng's eyes lit up. These two years, he had almost completely immersed himself in comprehending the universe origin laws. Comprehending these laws wasn't necessarily tedious. It was actually akin to a mother's hug when one was an infant. A very comforting feeling on the soul. Two years spent immersed in deep training had caused Luo Feng to forget about that automaton ship sitting in the Bermuda area of Earth. Right, that Nuolan Shan has been harping on about that automaton ship since before, that ship is definitely worth much more than his entire fortune. Bai Kaluo said respectfully, Ha ha, Luo Feng laughed. Babata, Luo Feng shouted, The ship will not return to home yet, we'll head over to the Bermuda area, it's time we took that automaton ship. Understood. The little devil shouted excitedly. The universe ship pierced through the Earth's atmosphere, immediately heading to the Bermuda Ocean, after which the universe ship vanished and Luo Feng and his two slaves became three beams of light flying into the ocean. Within the cold sea waters, there was an enormous white silhouette. Hmm, Luo Feng flew closer, 
Floating in the ocean, the enormous white pyramid reached a shocking height of 1,200 meters, larger than any skyscraper on Earth. Luo Feng could clearly feel that the floating pyramid slightly warped the surroundings. Automaton Universe Ship Dai Fan's eyes gleamed. This is my first time actually seeing an Automaton Universe ship in reality. Baika Luo too was shocked. The Automaton race's technology is too advanced. From the appearance, it's hard to tell what grade this ship is. The technology of the humans of the universe was far from that of the automaton race. The human-constructed universe ships could easily be determined by grade, and the scan would also easily tell what metal or alloy it was built from. However, with the automaton alloys, humans were completely unable to detect the grade from the outside. However, according to what Nuolan Shan told me, this automaton ship is at least a D-grade. Baikaluo pointed at the huge pyramid, the triangular pathway, that pathway's defense should be at the C grade too. The lowest grade of this kind of universe ship is D, hence its price is extremely expensive. Many domain lords can't even afford it. Hmm, Dai Fan looked shocked at Baikaluo, that expensive. You can't just look at its appearance. And that's on D grade, if it were E grade, that would be too shocking. It'll definitely be even crazier than the treasures from the world within a world that shook the entire Black Dragon Mountain Empire star field. Baikaluo shook his head, however the chances of it being an E-grade is too low. It's an E-grade, Luo Feng said. Master, Dai Fan and Baikaluo both turned shocked. Dai Fan couldn't help but ask, Master, it's completely impossible to tell the grade from its appearance. It's an E-grade, I'm very sure. Luo Feng looked at the huge pyramid before him. Before turning to looking at his two slaves, you two, what grades are your armors? Master, I'm wearing an inner level 3 genetic armor, outside a D3 grade alloy armor. Dai Fan said respectfully, I'm wearing an inner level 3 genetic armor, outside a D5 alloy armor. Bai Kaluo said respectfully, Luo Feng nodded. Genetic armors were similar to the Black God sets from back then, it could easily cover one's body. However the defensive abilities of the genetic armor was related to the level of the genetic energy. The stronger the genetic energy, the stronger the defense of the armor. These genetic armors were extremely expensive, similar to genetic energy weapons. The alloy armors were alloys outside, their skill tolerance was very low, just like a huge shield, the prices were cheap. Dot the only drawback was the alloy armors had many openings, not able to protect the body 100% completely. By Kaluo, how about you enter the automaton ship? Luo Feng ordered, this is an AI chip, enter the control room and insert it there. Yes master, Bai Kaluo respectfully received the chip and flew straight towards the pathway. Chi Chi, within the automaton ship pathway, three colored lasers immediately shot out. However, Bai Kaluo's speed didn't seem to slow down at all, rushing in straight ahead. The automaton ship, Luo Feng looked at the pyramid ship before him, exclaiming within, this ship's owner was that automaton undying fighter. Automaton undying, Luo Feng felt pressure, undying, the word itself represented the absolute peak, and undying being alone was enough to topple the entire Black Dragon Mountain star field. One punch alone from an undying being could destroy an entire planet. And with a physical body capable of reaching light speed and traveling through universes, even into universal travel between the actual universe or the dark universe, was as easy as having a meal. Babata, would we have any difficulty taking control of a ship owned by an undying? Luo Feng asked, undying beings shouldn't let others take their ships so easily right. But of course, just like the Yun Mo planet ship, if I controlled and shut the door forcefully, even sector lords would be unable to barge into the Yun Mo planet ship. Babata said, as for that automaton ship, it'll just be up to your person and luck. Because automaton undying are different from other races of undying. Different, Luo Feng. Right, Luo Feng, let me ask you, what do people normally use to control the ships? Babata asked, AI. Luo Feng smiled. Right, AI, your teacher used me to control the Yun Mo planet ship. However the automaton race, every one of them is a living eye. More advanced than any ash about. As for the most powerful of them, the automaton undying, that's something even more powerful than someone like me, a living AI. Babata said, what do you think he'll even need an AI for in a ship? You mean, Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. For automaton undying, riding in a ship only require a trillionth of their processing ability to be able to perfectly control a universe ship. Babata said, 
Hence the automaton undying usually don't even need an AI specifically to control the ships, they can easily handle it themselves. But he's dead. So there's no one to control this automaton ship anymore. Now it's just up to your luck. If this automaton ship has any locked down gates or doors from the entrance to the control room and is hard to open, then that'll be troublesome. If there are no blocked passages, then that's lucky. Babata said. Luo Feng couldn't help but hold his breath. Luo Feng and Dai Fan, a master and his slave, stood in the deep sea, patiently looking at the huge pyramid ship. Waiting. About five minutes later. Master, success. A thought was communicated over. That's great. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. My auxiliary AI can begin hacking into the control system of the ship. Oh. Hacking success. Cutting power to the cabin door. Success. Babata cheered. Luo Feng, let's go. We can enter into the ship now without any worry about the pathway's defenses. I've already cut off the power. Dai Fan, let's go. Luo Feng ordered, flying first into the entrance of the pyramid ship. Entering through the passageway, that area belonged to the lower level of the entire pyramid. The passageway was quite spacious, as it was 10 meters wide. With an alloy armor outside and cloud contact vine armor within, Luo Feng's defense was completely solid. With but a thought, a long vine extended into the passageway. It's completely safe. Luo Feng flew in and Dai Fan followed beside him. What a unique layout. Luo Feng entered the ship and was shocked upon his discovery. The entire layout of the pyramid ship was completely different from a human race's universe ship. Within this ship, there was one main pathway, spiraling upwards in a single helix. Almost like a mountain path going up. The spiraling pathway was 30 meters wide, spiraling up the center of the pyramid. The pyramid ship's control room was located in the center about 800 meters from the bottom. The control room itself was circular, the floors were sparkling and translucent, altogether beautifully made. There actually was no control board in the room, only a large floating crystal ball in the center. Master. Bai Kalo looked at Luo Feng. Well done. Luo Feng smiled. Babata, check this ship. Luo Feng shouted. Yes. Energy shields, perfect condition. Damn, the energy shield levels are actually this high. Even if we don't rely on the ship for defense, just the shields alone can block an E9 grade attack. This means... If one didn't reach the undying level, they couldn't even break past one level of the energy shields. Babata's voice resounded across the control room. Luo Feng, Dai Fan and Bai Kalo were all shocked. Just the energy shields alone were this extreme. This, just whose ship is this? Who was the original owner of this ship? Bai Kalo couldn't help but ask. It's, it's too crazy. Even the E9 grade ships in the universe aren't this extreme. Its owner was an undying. Luo Feng said, an automaton undying. Bai Kalo and Dai Fan's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Undying, and an automaton undying at that. Any undying was extremely valuable. And the automaton represented the most technologically advanced race in the entire universe. If an automaton undying were to control this ship to its fullest, the transformation would be extremely terrifying. Offensive weapons, perfect condition. Damn, it's really crazy. This automaton ship's technological weapons are even crazier than your teacher's ship, indeed worthy of the name automaton ship. The ship of an automaton undying, it's simply, dot too luxurious, it's pure madness. It actually has three star master grade star annihilator cannons and nine E3 grade laser cannons. Luo Feng was stunned. Star annihilator cannons. The legendary technological weapons, the star annihilator cannons were unrivaled, as the name spoke for itself just one shot could destroy an entire planet. In terms of power, it could compete with an undying altogether. Of course the Star Annihilator cannon had its flaws. First one was that its attack radius was huge, it couldn't concentrate its attack on a single point like an undying. Second was that it consumed a shocking amount of energy. However despite its weakness, it couldn't diminish the human race's longing for such a weapon. Movement systems, perfect condition. Luo Feng, you've struck lottery, this automaton ship's movement system is completely sick. It's no wonder the entire layout of the passageway was a spiraling pathway, actually the entire core of the automaton ship, seems to be a huge movement system. A 1,200 meters tall ship, over two-thirds of it is a movement system. Sick, this ship's momentary acceleration, dodging and other movements definitely aren't lousier than your teacher's Yunmo planet ship. I'm dizzy. 
According to the data from this ship, the ship's main body's alloy reaches E grade. It even has self-repairing functions. Along with the energy shield, it definitely belongs to the pinnacle of E grade ships. Plus, its movement is extremely shocking, making it incredibly valuable. And this is without including the cost of the star annihilator. Luo Feng, you've truly struck it big this time. Just this automaton ship alone is more valuable than all the treasures in the world within a world put together. Babata said. Expensive? Luo Feng who was within the round control room however wasn't as excited as he was when they first began. His expression was that of suspicion. Even though it's expensive, no matter how expensive it is, it's still only an E-grade ship, compared to the Yun Mo Planet F9-grade ship. Normal domain lords use D-grade ships, sector lords use E-grade ships. This undying should be using an F-grade. And this ship is only at the pinnacle of E-grade, it shouldn't be that crazy right? Wrong. Completely wrong. Babata shouted. Master, it's not like that. Bai Kalo said. Luo Feng was suspicious, beside him Dai Fan was dumbfounded too. Luo Feng, when you go out, don't ever mention that you are a disciple of the Yun Mo planet, it's a total disgrace to your teacher's face. Actually saying such stupid things. That Dai Fan, who was a slave before, never mind that he's stupid. But you, after reading so many books, learning so much about the universe and common knowledge, however you missed out on such an important piece of information. Babata began to criticize him. Where was I wrong? Luo Feng cut in while Babata was speaking. Firstly, human universe ships, the only reason why they aren't that expensive is because they are made from alloys. A pure metal ship is viewed as a luxurious item. Hence, alloy ships are the way to go. This you know right, Babata said. I understand, alloys are cheap, but cost effective. Luo Feng nodded. Within the same C5 grade, the alloys were cheaper by at least a hundred times to the pure metal. However, within the entire universe, the strongest alloy is only E9 grade. Whether it is the human race or the even more advanced automaton race, the strongest alloy constructed is only E9 grade. Hence to actually build a F grade universe ship, one can only use pure metals, like your teacher used the hybrid copper essence. This is because there are simply no F grade alloys. F grade pure metals are extremely rare. Take the hybrid copper essence, for example. There may be occasional veins of ore for the hybrid copper, but after digging them up, the amount of hybrid copper essence may only amount to a palm's worth, maybe one or two tons. One vein of ore may result in only a palm's worth. To actually collect enough to build an 800 meters diameter universe ship, that's, that's simply an unbelievable thing to do. Even if you sold off the entire Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, you wouldn't even be close to having enough money. Hence, even among undying beings, the majority of them cannot afford to make one. Undying beings, most of them only use the pinnacle of E-grade ships. Babata said, and the difference between the E-grade ships of the undying and sector lords is, dot the size, and with the bigger size one needs a stronger and more powerful engine, allowing it to have greater mobility. 100 meters long and 1000 meters long. The difference in size, if it were a 1000 times, the price difference will be a 1000 times too. That is the main difference between undying beings with E-grade ships, compared to sector lords with E-grade ships. Your teacher was an absolute warrior even amongst the undying, hence he could afford to build the Yun Mo planet ship. Even so, he still spent a large amount of his wealth along with countless treasures to acquire it. Babata said, and this automaton undying, this ship that he used, is even more advanced than many human undyings. The main thing is that its mobility is off the charts. I'll give you an estimate, a normal sector lord's E-grade ships would cost about 1 trillion universe dollars, which is about one mixed element. And the pinnacle E-grade ship used by undying would be normally valued at few hundred trillion universe dollars, which is equivalent to a few hundred mixed elements. This pinnacle E-grade ship, a 1,200 meters tall automaton ship, is worth about 1 to 2,000 mixed element units. And the treasures you acquired from the world within a world before, all added together would only add up to about 11 mixed element units. Hence, I said all the treasures in the world within a world added together. Don't even compare to this automaton undying ship. Only an accurate appraisal could clearly express just how valuable this automaton ship was. Babata had calculated earlier that the entire wealth of treasures in the world within a world was priced at about 200 mixed elements, comparable to a poor undying. And this automaton ship alone was worth about 1 to 2,000 mixed elements. My god, 
By Kalo's eyes stared wide, his dream was to have his name engraved in the Sword Clan temple, only after becoming a Sector Lord will he be able to do so, even a Sector Lord wouldn't be able to buy this ship. This, just how many universe level slaves can you buy with this? Dai Fan opened his mouth wide, looking silly. They were utterly flabbergasted. The two universe level warriors had totally lost it. Such a valuable automaton ship, enough to even make the undying Vi 4, enough to make the sector lords go crazy for, much less the domain lords and universe levels. Just the ship Star Annihilator was enough to make a medium level civilization become interested. This was definitely a mass killing weapon that could be used to intimidate and threaten. Luo Feng, you must never divulge any information about this automaton ship. Babata said, it's just like the Yun Mo planet ship you have, this ship too belongs to one of the things you must never leak out. Of course, it's impossible to determine its grade and true value just from its appearance, most people would think that it's a D-grade automaton ship. However, you are only a star level, using a D-grade automaton ship would just invite trouble. Hence, the greatest use this ship has to you is. 1. It can protect your life in dangerous situations. While hiding in this ship, even Sector Lord Pinnacle level warriors won't be able to break through. You can ride it and escape. 2. Killing your enemies, you can use the 3 star annihilators or the 9 E3 grade laser cannons to kill your enemies. Especially when combined with the mobility of the automaton ship, you can swiftly approach your enemies and withdraw as you please. While relying on the 9 laser cannons to attack, even domain lords will definitely die. 3. Sell, you can sell the entire ship. The first and second options have their flaws. The moment you use it, others will know that you have an E-grade automaton ship. That would easily attract the attention of sector lords and even undying. Hence you shouldn't use it, but the moment you do, you have to kill all the enemies, leaving none behind. If you want to sell it, there's no problem, you can sell it through your teacher's 5-star account service. However, the moment you sell it, if you want to buy it back, it'll be difficult, extremely difficult. That's because an automaton ship with star annihilators can easily enter a mid-level auction to be sold. And the mid-level auction's lowest requirement is to be a four-star client. Luo Feng, even if you sell the ship, you still wouldn't be a four-star client. The lowest requirement for the four-star grade is to have 10,000 mixed elements, the people are mostly comprised of undying or a few large powers. Hence, the moment you sell it, within a short time span, you wouldn't be able to get it back. Babata said, Luo Feng understood, this ship may be valuable, however for it to actually be worth a tenth of an undying's wealth was already considered not bad. Undying beings require money for weapons, armors, treasures, manuals etc. Even after selling the ship, Luo Feng would still be unable to become a four-star client. I won't sell it, I'm not lacking in money right now. Luo Feng laughed, after all, this is hot property. It'll be easy to sell any time and it'll act as a trump card in my back pocket. The nine laser cannons along with the ship's mobility, even domain lords would definitely die. Hiding in it, even the pinnacle of sector lords can't break it open. When I actually lack money, then I'll sell it. Luo Feng's eyes suddenly gleamed, Babata, can we detach the ship's star annihilator? Since there are three of them, selling two off would be okay. You wish. This automaton ship's construction work is too exquisite. The entire ship is a perfect whole body, even the star annihilator, the laser cannons have been fused within the ship. Detaching it, in your dreams. Even though the material isn't like the Yun Mo planet ship, the work and craftsmanship on it is of a much higher value than the Yun Mo planet ship. The Yun Mo planet ship's strongest point is mainly its material and its incomparably sharp edges. Once it accelerates, it can slice through planets and even sector lords like vegetables. As for its construction and craftsmanship, it's definitely lower. So it seems that I can't detach it, it's not a big deal. After all, I currently have enough money. Luo Feng laughed. Babata, keep this pyramid ship in your storage space, let's return home. Even though he had acquired the automaton ship, it was still of no use to him at the moment. This was because the moment he uses it, the information would be leaked. Hence the automaton ship was similar to the Yun Mo planet ship, Luo Feng very clearly knew they were valuable but he could only store it in Babata's storage space. At least the pyramid ship is in perfect condition and undamaged. Even though the Yun Mo planet ship is much more expensive than the pyramid, it is damaged and unusable. Luo Feng muttered as he flew from the Bermuda Ocean towards the Asia continent. 
Behind him Dai Fan and Bai Kalo exchanged glances. This master, he leaves others completely speechless. The pyramid ship, even amongst the undying ships, was considered not bad. Even the Yun Mo planet ship was something many undying wouldn't be able to afford. An F-grade ship was incomparably expensive, much less an F-9. Having such a powerful teacher is good. Dai Fan looked at Bai Kalo, communicating, Bai Kalo, why do you cherish your New Orleans Shan teacher so much? A universe level 9 teacher, there's no future in that. Look at my master who's so powerful, his teacher was an undying, and a powerful one amongst the others. And, he's dead. A dead teacher passes all his wealth to master. If his teacher was alive, master probably wouldn't be able to get much. Dai Fan communicated. Bai Kalo shot a stare at Dai Fan and said, get lost. Days passed. Back then the surveillance system had already detected movement from the wormhole in the dead space. The first was a D3 grade ship from the New Orleans Shan family, the second was a D1 grade ship and the third was a C8 grade ship. After Luo Feng had dealt with the New Orleans Shan army and acquired the pyramid ship, not long after. China year 2065, November 12th, the second D1 grade universe ship arrived on Earth. Space outside Earth. Dressed in armor, the bald Dai Fan stood in space, watching the dark purple disc-shaped universe ship approaching. Sir. How are you? We are from the Portali family from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire. From the ship flew out 12 star level humans, of which 10 were star level 9s and 2 were star level 3 and 5. The star level 5 was a tall and sturdy youth. Portali family, one of the 16 big families of the Black Dragon Mountain family. Portali family, HPMH, right now Earth falls under the protection of Three Axe Mountain, forbidding any visitors. Dai Fan's voice resonated via spirit reading energy to the twelve of them. Three Axe Mountain. The tall and sturdy youth's expression changed. Three Axe Mountain was one of the four large organizations. Even the two sacred lands had to be courteous to them. If you barge into Earth, don't blame me for being disrespectful. Dai Fan roared loudly, after which he turned and flew back immediately. And in space, the twelve exchanged glances. Lord, what do we do? What can we do? The tall and sturdy youth grit his teeth and ordered, they sent out only one person and he's a universe level 9, do we go in and commit suicide? The universe ship could only leave dejected. The same method was used on the C8 grade universe ship six days later, which was also scared away by Dai Fan. After all, these two ships were scout teams from two different families, who would dare mess with a universe level 9. After scaring away those two ships, Luo Feng's life became incredibly peaceful, however he was awaiting that crucial date, December 16th. Cheer year 2065 December 16th, was the triennial Ganwu auction date. Virtual Universe, Black Dragon Mountain 9 Star Bay. Within the tea room, Luo Feng sat in a chair, lifting a glass cup filled with an amber-colored tea. Tomorrow is the Ganwu auction, the lowest requirement for the auction is a three-star client. Luo Feng gently sniffed the tea, However, my account already has less than 10 mixed elements because of the recent expenses, which is lower than the requirement to become a three-star client. Is the invitation sent to me by the Ganwu auction still valid? Luo Feng, your thinking is wrong. Your account reached 11 trillion universe dollars before, 11 mixed elements, thus becoming a three-star client. Right now you've used up quite a bit, just because you have less money now, you think your account will get degraded from being a three-star client. For several wealthy owners, their assets and capital get cycled very regularly. One day they may have 200 mixed elements, becoming a three-star client, and another they might use everything until they only have one mixed element left. The following day, others might transfer 300 mixed elements in. Will these large wealthy people change constantly from three-star clients to two stars? Luo Feng was stunned. Usage is normal. Like your teacher, for the Yun Mo planet ship back then, he had almost used up everything. And sometimes just by selling a few treasures, the amount in his account would fly again, sometimes empty, sometimes full. Babata laughed, the bank won't easily degrade an account. Only if your account has stayed short of funds for a long period of time will they degrade it. Babata said, the higher the level of account, this low period will be longer. Like a five-star client, even if the money inside has been emptied, within 100 million years, their grade will not be dropped. Luo Feng laughed and nodded, that made sense. Sipping his tea, Luo Feng was looking forward to the auction. 
The triennial Ganwu auction would gather countless sector lords, even undying from all of the Ganwu universe country and the lowest requirement was a three-star client. Various items that would otherwise be hard or impossible to purchase, including some level items would appear there. After purchasing the nutrition cabin, the D5 grade laser, treasures required for the deity of the world training and usage of about five mixed elements, also giving two mixed elements to my brother Luo Hua to invest. Right now, I only have about four trillion universe dollars left. Luo Feng thought, I wonder if I can actually afford anything tomorrow. I'll return and ask my brother to see how his investments have been doing these two years. Luo Feng thought, 